I throw the unicorn up. Put this in the video for sure, cause unicorn fam, that, that's, unicorn is me. Jalen Green. This guy is arguably one of the best high school basketball players we have ever seen. And he stands out a lot on the court, but he also stands out a lot more off the court. Jalen Green is known for starting the unicorn fam and calling himself a unicorn. Calling yourself a unicorn is definitely something we haven't seen a basketball player do yet. But Jalen Green, he's different and he's not scared to say it. Not only is Jalen Green different, he wants to be different and he wants to stand out. And honestly, I like it because being normal, it's boring. To get into how Jalen Green became the player he is now today, we gotta throw it all the way back to where things started. At 5 a.m., not too many things are going on in really anybody's life. However, for Jalen Green, it's a little different. When Jalen Green was growing up, he would wake up at 5 a.m. to start his morning workout. He started off running miles in a weighted down vest, then he would do basketball training. Yeah, you know, just your average morning at 5 a.m. for a 13-year-old on summer break. I mean, just think about it. Most 13-year-olds were probably going to the beach in the summer. For Jalen Green, it wasn't the same case. All this hard work, though, it did pay off, and it paid off pretty quickly. Jalen Green actually started dunking when he was just in 8th grade. When you're working hard and most athletes, when you're grinding, you start to develop that dog-like mentality. For most athletes, this mentality really don't start to develop until later in their career. For Jalen Green though, this mentality started at just the age of 16. In an interview, he said, Every time I step on the court, I'm the best on the court. I don't care who you are, where you are from, what you're working on, or what you're doing. If you're guarding me, and if you're trying to score on me, I'ma lock you up, and I'ma get by you, and I'ma get a bucket. Simple as that. Pretty bold words for just a 16 year old. As Jalen Green started growing up, and his basketball career started growing up as well, he saw a huge increase in his followers on Instagram and every social media account. In the FIBA Under-17 World Cup, he wound up winning the MVP honors for Team USA. And in his career, he has wound up winning two gold medals so far. Jalen Green can't skip college and go straight to the NBA draft, but people said if he could, he would be the number one pick in the 2020 draft. As Green started to see a lot of success, he developed his own nickname, and that nickname is the Unicorn. To be a unicorn, you can't just play one position. Like you gotta position it. The Unicorn. It kind of sounds weird, doesn't it? Well, Jalen Green, he's about being different. Listen to what he had to say. I feel like I'm different. Like not even on the court. On the court, you can tell I'm different. I play different. But off the court, I'm different too. You know, I'm the unicorn. What else can I say? He doesn't just call himself the unicorn. He also has started a trend to wear short shorts. I'm sure if you've seen any of his highlights, you've noticed that his shorts are not a normal length. Well, there is a short and simple reason for that. He just wants to be different and he feels like that's his signature thing and that's how he stands out. So not only does he stand out by calling himself the unicorn, he also rolls up his shorts. Even though he is regarded as one of the top players, he still tries to get better. He has a jam-packed schedule, and in between that schedule, he always asks his stepdad, how do I get better? In his off-season training, he does back-to-back -back practices and always does work on the weekends. You would think he'd want to enjoy hanging out with his friends or do other things, but he doesn't even ask for a day off. And this is what nobody really tells you or talks about. To be one of the top players, they don't just show up and play. They put in a lot of work behind the scenes. In summer basketball, he actually played for two different teams. During one weekend, he played for these two different teams in AAU, and as soon as he got home, he asked his parents, when can he get in the gym again? He wants to work so much and so bad, his parents actually make him take days off. They'll tell him to take a day off, and he'll go, I can't, I want to get back in the gym. And honestly, that's what you gotta have, that dog-like mentality to continue to get better. When people have that dog-like mentality, you're not always a dog in everything you do in life. You have to have a switch and you gotta know when to turn it on and off. And Jalen Green, he knows how to do this exactly. Believe it or not, he is very humble off the court. 
He is so humble his sister has even said he's not like that. He has a lot of accolades. We just, like I said, he's really humble. He doesn't showcase things. His sister has also said you wouldn't know Jalen Green plays basketball if you went into his house because he doesn't put on his trophies or anything like that. Matter of fact, when people have tried to interview him, he's often been described as shy and he hides away from the camera a lot and doesn't say much. It's kind of ironic, right? Because you watch him on the court and he's a whole different animal. He's dunking on people, flexing, and talking trash. So like I said, he has that dog-like mentality. He's humble off the court, but he also can flip the switch. When he started getting older, he started to get a lot more attention and it was so hard just to even get into his basketball games. This guy was putting on a show every night and just dunking on people. It was a crazy thing to see. Now let's go back to the unicorn thing. He claims to be a unicorn with the confidence he shows on the court and how different he is. But he isn't just different on the court, he's different off the court a lot too. He even said, I don't even watch TV, it's just never been me. I'll turn on a game sometimes, but I'm more of an outside person. And nowadays that's really rare because kids play video games and watch TV a lot more than they used to. Heading into his senior year, some people actually didn't believe the hype. And well, about that, he said this. I think this year I'll come with more of a dog mentality. You know, people know me. So like they try to say I'm um, overrated in motivation. They say I'm like lazy on the court, I don't play defense, I can't shoot, all that. And yeah, he definitely shut up all the haters because he put on a show this recent year. He has really proven that he is deserving of all the hype and attention he gets and he is arguably one of the best draft prospects we have ever seen. He's not just a unicorn, he's actually started his own unicorn fam and about that he said this. I got a tight circle, my mom always preaches staying humble and I think that's one thing that's worked so far. A lot of people that's gonna fake be my friend, fake try to be close to me just because of what I got going right now. Jalen Green definitely has his head right on his shoulders because he's doing what you're supposed to do. He's working hard and staying in his own lane. And as simple as that sounds, it's actually kind of rare. As a senior at Prolific Prep, he averaged 31.5 points per game. Not only that, he also put up 7.5 rebounds and 5 assists per game, so he showed that he can do more than just score. And we cannot forget to mention he also set the Prolific Prep single season scoring record with 1,008 points. I'm doing me. Scoring 1,000 points in a high school career is crazy good. He did it in one year. Just let that sink in. So yeah, he definitely shut up the haters and the critics and he proved that he's different. Everyone said I don't play defense. Jalen Green is different and that's for sure, but he has earned his stripes and the right to the unicorn nickname. But can he prove and show that he is worthy of this hype and attention? Or is he gonna crumble under the pressure? But hey man, with all this being said, that's about gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys learned something. If you are new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family and hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out y'all. Peace.